Welcome everybody to Pixelated Points Nintendo E3 post show. Um, we just watched their direct. It was about live. 25 minutes yeah. live. We just we finished. do everything live. We yeah. just finished. Uh, I thought Nintendo had a pretty fucking strong showing. Saved E3. Uh, made me excited for E3. I don't know if it saved it. That's a that's a. I think it saved it. Of course he does. Dude. For Nintendo, it was a very Nintendo E3. Yeah, I agree. I think that they had um, they had safe bets, and then I thought that they kind of killed it with a few things. They had usually the same strengths and weaknesses they had. A lot of good first party games, but mm. nothing third party that's going to wow you. Yeah, well, I mean, at this I, at this point in the stage, their third party showings I feel like aren't really going to help them anyways. Even if they got Assassin's Creed or you kind of hope they'd get something though. I mean, yeah, oh, you you want third like party exclusive. exclusives. Exactly. That's what you really they didn't want. Have any. Um, well, technically, they have Mario Rabbit. Kingdom things, which is, I guess, they're working on it. So we're beating around the bush. Let's go through the list. <laughs> wow, Steve is Steve is Get really right jazzed up about this. Jazzed up about <laughs> oh, it. All right. the so they came out. Odd. They came out uh, hot no with uh, Rocket League. So that was the first thing that they showed off. They showed off Rocket League. Um, they said that it was coming out this quarter, or sorry, the fourth quarter of this year. My apologies. So it should come out sometime holiday. It is cross. Um, platform with Xbox and PC, no Sony, which is interesting to see. Uh, yeah, we were just having this discussion um, off air mm -hmm. that <clears throat> this is something that's it's interesting. It's great for you know Rocket League coming to Switch. I think it's great for that platform, and then the fact the cross you know platform play is fantastic. Not being able to play with PS4 is just super strange. It's a super strange move by PlayStation to just be. Just saying no, because Very. the developers of Rocket League have come out and saying that it's ready to go. All PlayStation <laughs> has to do is just flip the switch, and then they're playing. Mm -hmm. PlayStation has come out, I've seen in interviews, saying <clears throat> that, no, we're not going to do this. Very anti-consumer, I think. Yeah, it's I'm it's not, a very I think a lot strange of thing to do. It doesn't mean they may, maybe they want to see how it goes. I mean, between Microsoft and well, I think, Nintendo, I to mean, see if it's financially sound for them to do that. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, you also have to remember that they've probably Psyonix has probably went to them and been like, "Hey, this is it. Like, here's my Xbox. Here's the PlayStation. Like, we could get this going if you just allow us like a beta test to show you it, and mm -hmm. then they, it probably works." There has to be were, a reason that they said no. Yeah. When they were trying when they brought Rocket League to Xbox, they were trying to. Do it with Xbox and PS4. I, we, talk, we talked about yeah, that. We yeah, talked about that. Like, yeah. like on the tangent ago. podcast, and <laughs> they were trying to do it, and PlayStation wouldn't do it then. Right. And now that the Switch is coming, like it's really interesting that Nintendo is allowing this to happen. Mm -hmm. I would expect this from Nintendo. I wouldn't really expect it from PlayStation. Sure. And now that you're seeing that, it's, it's well, just I mean, Sony might be thinking. I mean, they're number one top dog right now. I mean, do they have to associate with? The other ones. I mean, that might be their thing. Yeah, but I think that's a backwards way of thinking because if it is you, for now. I mean, if it could hurt you them, but. are in the mix of that play, you're going to blow Xbox out of the water. But now you're allowing Xbox to cross-platform play with the Switch, which they're allowing. Which is, if it's starting with Rocket League, it could potentially start with other games like Skyrim. Oh God. <laughs> I just don't over. think I don't see how it hurts any of the systems to do it because it's like if you're already entrenched. It, you bought it for the system you got it for. Yep. And so now you get to play with even more people. So you just stay on the system that you have and you get to play with a bunch of people. Yeah. I mean, it benefits the Switch. Or it benefits the system that don't have as much users playing, but, but it still benefits Sony by then opening up even more players to play against. So I don't well, see first what... Of, just because they're saying now doesn't mean it's now forever. I mean, like you said, it's as easy as flipping a Switch. I mean, they could easily any day say, okay, we're going to do it now. Yeah. No, it I just, mean it's true. It's just it's, it's a bad look. It, it is a been, really bad look for Sony. To I'm sure if Sony and say fans no. of the game probably want to play with as many. To be honest with, I I got it for free uh, two summers ago, whenever the fuck it came out, yeah. and I loved it. And if, for example, if Gary got it on his PC and was like, "Hey man, like let's play Rocket League," I would absolutely play it with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this isn't really for me, but it, it's more of just like a community thing. It's more of a goodwill thing that you see a lot with uh, Microsoft and you're kind of seeing a little bit with Nintendo right now. And it's so strange because Sony was so big on this when they were first pushing the PS4. Yeah, and, and now it's it just like they're they're resorting back to old Sony where it's just like, hey, we're on top, we know what we're doing. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, keep that humble mentality. Like yeah. they, hey. might have, they might have the mentality too is, I mean, 
people on certain consoles have a certain sense of community as well. I know, like in terms of Dark Souls, I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of people take pride in the fact that they're Dark Souls fans on PS4. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but I mean... It, I like, would imagine they would say, oh, I was here from the beginning. If it was a cross-platform thing with yep. Dark Souls and you could play with people on Xbox and PC, it might kind of ruin Ooh. a little bit what they but got going on. But how would you feel about if they set up things like Xbox versus PlayStation multiplayer, like games like i think it would be interesting for like when the esports you know, you talk about esports you talk about who's better right when you talk about call of duty like playstation or xbox but here's the thing that sony has a lot of them a lot of the rep of a lot of the best players play on sony for certain games well i think that's, that's and for dark souls that's definitely a thing maybe for dark souls but yeah. every first person shooter esports is well first person shooters is obviously xbox yeah well, that's the majority of esports. But I don't so. even know if the system matters. I think it's just the no, players no, gravitate towards the system they I, want. And I don't then, think it, it matters, right. but I think it's the sense of community saying, if I'm an Xbox fanboy, right. I would like to play with my yeah. Xbox friends against set up battles against oh, yeah, my I mean, sure, PS4 you could friends, do that, yeah. Switch friends. And then it's kind of like you get that community going saying, who's better than this? And you set up these little tournaments. I think that's really interesting. And then it obviously, like, at the end of the day, I don't know. It's not going to hurt PlayStation right now. As a Sony fanboy, well, it doesn't kill me that I can't so. play with people on Xbox and, and Switch. I don't Close care. minded. I don't Christopher. care. I think that this is a good topic for the tangent that we should bring to the yeah. tangent when we record. But yeah. moving on with our Nintendo yeah. uh, post show here. Uh, the next game that they showed off was Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which. I'm, I'm hyped. It looks it looks fantastic. I mean, to me, I mean, I'm I'm a huge Xeno fan. I played all of them besides Xeno Blade X on the the, the Wii U because I just never had a Wii U. Mm-hmm. But this looks more in line with some of the older Xeno games. It's a lot more anime styled. It's yeah. a lot more. Um, it's not like an open world game like Xeno Blade X on the Wii U was. So I'm excited about that because that's mm-hmm. what kind of turned me off to that. It looks like it's a lot more straight up RPG focused. Okay. And it, the gameplay. The, the art style looks right up my alley. I mean, if you're a, any kind of JRPG fan, this mm-hmm. this looks like a big one. Nice. I mean, in this day and age, there's very few of those types of games coming out. Mm-hmm. I mean, other than Persona 5, this might be the next big one. Yeah. I'm ex- Me, personally, I'm excited for Nino Kuni 2, which is just kind of my thing, but... Can I take disappointment on that one, though? What's up? It's not... The, the, the disappointment with Nino Kuni 2 is it's not Pseudo Ghibli. Oh yeah, which that's, I mean that's that was like fifty percent of the draw on, yeah. on the first. So you don't know what we're talking. about. <laughs> yeah. The whole idea. No. No, so okay. Studio Ghibli is the studio that did like it's Spirited like Away, you know, Princess Mononoke, like some of the big animes. That's what they did the art, all the artwork for Nino Kuni, and they're which not. Is, on which was one of the big draws, one. and they're not doing two, which is mm-hmm. huge. I mean. Yeah. Going in. I played some Nino Kuni and like the art, the art style was lost. We're, the draw. We're, we're speaking Greek to him. Yeah, I mean, just pretend he's not here. Yeah. I mean. but um, six so, teraflops. <laughs> Xenoblade back. Chronicles Two does it does look good. It's not my cup of tea. I've never really been into the Xeno games, but it does. It looks look very epic. Great. It looks like they're getting back to a lot of the old Xeno stuff, which is a little more sci-fi, a little less focused on just the planet. I mean, I'm, oh cool. I'm pretty 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 pumped for it. And they're still saying they didn't give a hard date, which is weird because they've been very like strange about this. But they're saying two thousand. 2017. Monolith is usually pretty good with their their release dates. Yeah, so. that, oh, but it, they never is... like give a hard date until a couple months out. I was, I was gonna say if that hits 2017. I'm thinking that's it's December good. title or right now. At, like as we'll get to it, there's nothing in November for Nintendo. Right. So maybe that'll be their. That can uh, hit it. That's November. a pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I agree. The next game that they showed off was uh, it was just called Kirby. It looks like a, a new Kirby game for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you can fuck off with that shit. Hey. Why are you making Kirby then, games? Like, hey, that is such you, a bad source he actually, of resources. He actually has a pretty decent following. Yeah, I know, but it's Nintendo just fans. like... I mean, to me, I'm all set. But it's I just mean, like Fire Emblem right now. It's just like... Well, Fire Emblem, don't like it. No, no, no. 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 Fire Emblem, I'm actually kind of excited about well, Fire Emblem. Too. I don't like Kirby. Fire Emblem, I'm like, whatever about. But it's they're it's pushing a, so many Kirby games within the past five years. They sell them. We haven't had a lot. They I mean, let's, I'll sell. give them the epic yawn. I was intrigued well, by. That I was like 2009, I, though. And then since then, there's right. like a million and one 3DS ones. It doesn't matter. I just think it's like. I yes, wonder what studio's doing it, though. What uh, if it's just like a really small I don't know. Uh, studio? And then... Uh, they kind of did this really quick little thing saying, uh, you know, Pokémon Tournament is coming, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they said that Game Freak is actually making a mainline Pokémon game for the Nintendo Switch. 
no details, just that's what's happening. That's a huge plus for a lot of people. I think, a lot of, I think that's great news. For a I lot mean, of Pokemon fans. Any any fan of Pokemon that's been playing, you know, all of the generations on their handheld, they now have it on the Switch. I think that explains a lot of why Sun and Moon, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon mm-hmm. aren't Switch, like, ports. Yeah, because they're working, they're working on, on an actual new Pokemon iteration mm-hmm. for the Switch. I know it doesn't do anything for you, but is that is no, a huge I mean, thing. I, I like He's Pokemon. A Pokemon fan. I like yeah. Pokemon. Mm-hmm. My thing is like, yeah, I could like it. You know, say Xbox came out and said, "Yeah, we're making Gears of War. We're making another Gears of War, or we're making another Halo." People, people like, would still go nuts for it, though. Yeah, but it's wouldn't. the same thing, though. Like, you, like you're not showing me anything. You're just mm-hmm. saying it. Like, no, cool. I know. You, like, you right. gotta but keep. This is, do we? But this did we not different. expect a but Pokemon the, the, RPG the, coming to Switch? Yeah, I mean, the, the problem. Well, not ex- well, not necessarily. We've never had the thing with that is we've never had a Pokemon. Well, the, the game thing with the, the thing with Pokemon is it's That's not. It's it, not you technically. You don't need a very technical system for you. Could, you could put it on the 3DS and it'd be fine. But know? the point is, it comes to an actual console. Like we've never had a Pokemon game on a home console. That is. So you've also never had a hybrid. Well, that's the but that's mm-hmm. what's happening. I mean, it's, it's pretty, just intriguing. Like, I mean, I don't obviously, have a yeah, I know you, it's expected. A Pokemon game. Well, it's expected, but it, we don't know. I mean, we'll get further into what else they they just said. <laughs> well, it's some stuff. Which is <laughs> which is what's next is that they showed so they had like a forty second build up of clouds in the background, Stars. and then the clouds ended up making the Metroid symbol, and then there was a four in front of it. So they're making Metroid Prime Four. It's now in development. I'm excited. It's going to be a long time until it comes out, but I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, so I'm very excited. I love Metroid Prime. Uh, 1, 2, 3 is okay. I wasn't a huge fan of the motion controls, but Metroid Prime 4, it just being in development is a great thing. Um, it's in development, meaning you're not getting this game until like 2020. They didn't show anything. It's going to yeah. be years. Yeah. Well, that's so. what I'm saying. Like, And it's weird to me, and I talked to Steve about this off air, is that they put it in like the first 10 minutes instead of saving it for like, oh, yeah, and one more thing. Yeah. And then brought out Metroid. Save Prime the big for. gun for the end. Because Metroid and, is the big gun at this point. Well, it's been so long. Yeah, and that would have been like a huge <laughs> resounding, like everyone would have been on their feet like, yeah. holy fucking like they shit. Did, they did like a re- it was almost like a relief thing. Like, oh, yeah. okay, they're doing they're it. working on yeah. it, and then that would have been. Honestly, I think they should have saved the um, the remake of Metroid Two for the Switch as well. Like, I don't think it should have mm-hmm. been a 3DS game. I think they should have made it because the Switch I think is it also a been portable a... console. I mean, yeah. they should have made it both. I yeah. Mean. Well, that's another conversation with how much they did emphasis show. they're still putting on. Well, no, what Chris the was saying, 3DS. the 3DS. Right. Mm-hmm. I I'm thought that's about that. interesting. I have a 3DS, so. <laughs> well, I know. But but I'm just saying, like ten people like... in the world who really cares about the 3DS anymore. Well, I'm I'm kind of getting back into it. So like. Um, they saved a lot of the 3DS stuff for not their press conference, so they're doing a bunch of Treehouse stuff live. So uh, throughout the, the past couple days, they did uh, a, a new 2D Metroid game. It's Metroid Samus Returns. It is Metroid 2 on the original Game Boy that's remade for the 3DS. It does look a little rough to me. So that's what they re- I didn't realize was that game. Yeah. It does look a little rough. It looks a little jagged. The gameplay looks smooth. They changed, but like, like and all that. Free aiming instead of 45 degree angles, it's free aiming. Everything looks good. It looks like your normal Metroid yeah. game. It just looks like a really low res GameCube game. It doesn't look all that nice, which makes me kind of like. Well, what they should have done a Super Metroid. That would Don't, uh, maybe they'll get there. Maybe they'll get there. <laughs> um, and they also showed off uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga with like. Bowser's Minions. It's a remake of the first one, which is a great game, but I don't know if I'll ever actually go back to it. Uh, Super, uh, Mario, it's Mario and Luigi Superstar oh, Saga. Okay. So that was like Bowser's the first. Bowser's Story is the best one anyway. Well, I understand that, Steve. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll get back to making that one too. I don't need any more remakes. <laughs> Just put it on the virtual console, call it a day. Speaking of remakes, uh, the new Yoshi game that looks exactly like Yoshi's Woolly World. No, thank you. Did you see it? So it's a new Yoshi game alongside, like, the new Kirby game. It was the same kind of thing. It's very similar art style, too. Yeah, it was very... It looked very much like Woolly World, but they have this weird, like, paper mechanic to it. That it's I weird thought, to introduce that and Kirby at the same time. I mean, it's yeah, just too similar. They're right? two, yeah, two exact same yeah. games. Um, the only, they I, both I, eat everything. The only thing I liked yeah. about Woolly's World, Woolly World is looking at it. Yeah. I think yeah, it looks style, fucking but you only incredible. Need so much of it. Right, exactly. This this new one looks beautiful too. It's yeah. just, but again, I, I get it. So much of it. Yeah, yeah. I, it they just to, got Woolly World in 2015. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they need to get the people who made Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo to make 
to do the mechanics for these sequel. games. Yeah. Have the designers do them. This game. Well, this one has Same. like the the aiming. Um, they do have this new paper mechanic where you can kind of like turn the world 180 degrees so you can see what's behind this cardboard like so box. Super Mario. It's like su Paper Mario. Super, super paper, paper Mario. Mario. Yeah, it's very similar to that. Um, I thought it was okay. I'm glad that they're making it, but like, come on, really? A fucking another it's Yoshi redundant. game? Yeah. yeah, that's a good way. I, 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 I mean, my problem. Move. Sorry. Yeah, my thing is, real quick, is I'd like to know, like, normally Nintendo would kind of tell you the studios that would do them, because mm. then you could know where their where their resources, resources are, are pooled. Going. Yeah. Yeah, but now they haven't. I mean, to do them to do like a quick and tight E3 yeah. conference, you know, I can see why they Brian, wouldn't. Tell but. me about Skyrim. Uh, so they showed off Skyrim again. They briefly mentioned it, though. They were just like, oh, I'm sure that you saw in Bethesda's press conference that we're doing Zelda uh, items in Skyrim. This is the first remake of Skyrim ever done, right? Uh, the first remake... <laughs> it's the first port of the original Skyrim. So it actually is a first. It's the first port of the original so Skyrim. I wasn't so it is the original. It's the original port. Oh, yeah, it's not the remastered version. Oh, even That's better. even better. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone even get better. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, next game that they showed off was Fire Emblem Warriors, which is coming out fall of 2017. I never played Fire Emblem, but I've heard a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. I mean, Well, this one is more of like you Dynasty like Warriors. You are a big Fire Emblem fan. I am not. I'm not a tactical <laughs> RPG fan. No, he hates them. But so this game is I'm not a it. tactical <laughs> RPG. It's like high Warriors and Dynasty Warriors, so it's a hack and slash kind it's of like Dynasty, yep. beat, a, beat them up type of thing. Yeah, nope, uh, nope. I don't get it, but whatever. No, thank you. Uh, and then they moved. Yeah, I actually wrote Snooze Fest, yep. um, the Zelda DLC. Pumped. So, uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna have an. I think we're gonna have a disagreement here. So the first thing that they showed off was Trial of the Sword, which was um, it's the first DLC pack, which is called Master Trials comes out June 30th, which is very soon. It's coming out in two weeks. Um, and it looks like it's just more shrines. Um, Excellent. Which, yeah, sure is cool. The Trial of the Sword that they showed off looked very similar to, uh, I know that you haven't gotten there, but the island. What is that? Are you still playing it, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Yeah. So Reviews coming soon. <laughs> it, it, it's like the island where you lose all of your, your oh, stuff. And fuck then, that island. I still haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it's, it looks very similar to that. So it looks like there's a bunch of trials for you to do uh, in the same vein. Sounds exciting. And then the next one, they showed off what the second story DLC was, and it's called... Uh, Champions Ballad. So that's coming Is out that, holiday of this oh, year. Oh, so the story one's holiday. Yeah. So that one, that's the one that I think you play as the four champions in Princess Zelda prior to the events that happened that looks in good, Breath though. of the Wild. Prior to that does, right. it's like, yeah. yeah it's that like does look... Pre -sequel. Yeah. I didn't play Breath of the Wild. What's, yet, um, <laughs> which one has the hero mode? Uh, hero mode comes with uh, tri uh, the new the one that's coming I need the game more. The first one. Colors, though, I'm yeah. For. No, you, you don't need that. Please. No Master Sword yet. <laughs> yeah. Seven hearts. Beat the game. You're a psychopath. <laughs> Going strong. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I think that the first one is... But the sec the second one could be good, and there's supposed to be a new... Dun like a new... Um, what are those things called? Mon not monsters. The four divine beasts. Oh. So you're supposed to have a new divine beast. It's supposed to... It looks like I'm hoping you can play as all four champions. I think that would be cool. An interesting thing to do. Um, and then maybe finish off with Zelda. Um, I'm definitely intrigued with the story. I think it's kind of cool that yeah. they're going to give you, throw you like, oh, let's, why don't we put you in where it was 100 years when you went yeah, to sleep? Like, so you kind of yeah. get a little bit more backstory of, yeah. of those characters, which I think uh, are kind of underutilized in the main story so far. I haven't finished it, but it's a little bit underutilized in the uh, in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Although I will say I've already pre-ordered all four Amiibos. Why are we killing it? Because I can't. Because I, <laughs> I can't. Slowly. This is usually the time in the podcast where I go to the bathroom. I was I about to do that. Yeah. By the and then, uh, so the last thing that they showed off was Super Mario Odyssey. What? What? And I think this game looks fucking bananas. It looks very good for a Mario game. I but think I don't care about Mario games anymore, so I'm completely done. I think it looks good for oh, any video yeah. game. It's yeah. Really good. No, I agree. I mean. The, Looks fucking fantastic. Yeah. I keep as I'm watching like you know gameplay of it. It reminds me of like Super Mario 64 mm -hmm. in that aspect, but obviously it looks very good. But platformers just do not do it. For it's me. got a lot of galaxy in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which it, is an incredible game. I mean, I love you know 
the fact of I think Brian you tweeted out with the vi- the video of like the up and down and like you know going like Paper Mario. So and, you know, it's like, very similar to like I've played Paper Mario. I've played the galaxies. I appreciate them what they are, but mm-hmm. they're just not for me. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I like that you can go to um, you'll go into a pipe and then it brings you into the wall and then you turn into 2D Mario where it's like the you Origi- know, original, original so, NES yeah. and then you're going they, up and down using cool. anti gravity. It'd be very interesting if they do. Each generation kind of a little. Yeah, so like they kind of throw in. It's going to be good three. Mario, That'd be Mario games cool. are not ever. They're never not good games. I mean, that's true. <laughs> Which one was bad? Pretty much all of them other than Super Mario 64. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also like the, the, <laughs> the hat mechanic now that you can throw the hat and kind of turn into different um, enemies. So you can be running around jumping and then throw your hat into a bullet bill and control that bullet bill to get to a different platform it's that a you cool need dynamic. to be. Yeah. Um, so there's, I call this game, uh, what was it? Uh, Super Mario GTA 64. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> and like, it just, yeah. you can like throw your hat into like the real people in the world and yeah, then you control them. Yep. Or if you want to turn into a frog. Yeah. There's like, well, and and, it always has a mustache. Yeah, it always that's has a mustache in the hat. But that's, that is, I feel Mario like what they're they, doing they get, is. The Mario games, they get, they get good games. Yeah, comes to the platform and they get it. They're taking a like the past ten to fifteen years of all of the Mario games that they've ever done and just kind of like putting little things in each one into this yep. and just they've learned from all of the previous games and they're making which they do with every like, game they really do a, like a Breath of the Wild for Mario. Yeah. I wish that's I could like those games. Like. I really would do because yeah. I guarantee that's gonna be a fucking fantastic platform. Which is I'm just not gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I will be like this game looks awesome. I'll start playing it. And be like I'm still uh, just well, Justin like, yeah. in good company. <laughs> yeah. Platformers. Yeah, no, Justin the same way. You, you nailed it, Ryan. When I, I look can at appreciate this, it. Like, it, it looks, looks very like good. the looks evolution of Mario yeah. to what Breath of the Wild is to Zelda. Yeah, right. like you that's know. really kind of what they're doing. And it's crazy that they're both coming in the same year. I mean, it they didn't have anything on the Wii U, but yeah. Yeah. Um, it is coming out October 27th, so they're going up against Assassin's Creed Creed. and Wolfenstein, but again, I feel like it's a different, different, whole different, like, I'm gonna buy Wolfenstein and Mario, but Wolfenstein's gonna be put on hold for me, right? and it's gonna be my back burner game until... I'm like, all right. That will be done. true for pretty much everyone who has a Switch, I guarantee. Yeah, you. which is crazy. Everyone because who has a Switch, I guarantee that. Because <laughs> Wolfenstein is like one of my favorite games. Yeah, which is insane. But yeah. he's not Mario. Let's, let's put it that way. No. Yeah. Um, everyone who has a Switch Blast will be playing Blast. Mario before they will play. Wolfenstein. I thought that there was a there was a weird um, mechanic like you're collecting a hundred purple coins in each or purple triangles in each world. I noticed that really quick. I also Did noticed. You hear, sorry, oh, go ahead. No, you were talking. I w- oh, I was going to talk about. Um, Paulina or Pauline, Mario's original <laughs> girlfriend from Donkey Kong. So there's a woman in a red dress singing at the top of a tower, and that's the same uh, same ex girlfriend that Donkey Kong steals. It in wasn't Donkey Birdo. Kong. No, it's not Birdo. <laughs> so I'm hoping that Donkey Kong is some sort of corrupt politician type of thing. Like Donkey Kong becomes a bad so guy a whole, again. Like- the real story to this game? Yeah, so like Peach is being put up to a wedding by Bowser, but I also think that there's going to be oh, a... Is, is that why we got the wedding amiibos? Yeah. Oh. And I think that there's going to be a side thing I'm not gonna with kinda, you kinda turned Donkey me off Kong <laughs> with Donkey Kong and Paulina. I mean, or you're Pauline. Definitely turning me off right now. I mean I thought, I thought it was just straight gameplay yeah. like that. No, that, I'm that's... down with more Donkey Kong though. I think Donkey <laughs> Kong's gonna be a bad Donkey guy Kong and, and I fucking can't the, the wait. Story. No, thank you. I heard they um they got rid of the life system. The Life system? Yeah, and it's now coins. So oh. you don't have lives, you use coins. Oh, yeah, life. that's kind of like... Is it Sonic now? No, it's similar to uh, Super Mario 64 where you had the light, uh, the health bar. Sorry. Like where y- your face was there and you were blue, green. No, 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 yellow. I meant like when you die, Oh, it's, there's no lives anymore. It's coins. You pay. It's kind of like a like a video game pay to play. Yeah, it's not so actually. The more coins you I'm get, getting more the more coins you get, the <laughs> more like lives else. you can use. So you just got to collect coins in a level because mm-hmm. the life system was useless in the last fucking fifteen years of my. I agree. You get yeah. about a million one-ups everywhere, you know? Well, uh, that's really it for uh, Nintendo's E3 press conference. I think, me personally, I'm giving them a green. I think that they had a really good showing. Um, I think th- they had a lot of good games and a lot of good things to show off. Um, not so many great games, like with Fire Emblem and Kirby and Yoshi or whatever, but they still get a green for me. They did Metroid and Super Mario, right? So. Well, did they do Metroid? What I will say is Nintendo's a different beast, and I would say as a Nintendo fan, I'd give it a green. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're, if you're into all the, the Mario, the Metroid, 
I mean, yeah. they, they gave, if you're into their, they gave IPs, you everything you wanted to hear. Yeah. Today. So I mean, keyword here, not see. Um, True. But I give it a green. I mean, they they knocked it out of the park. They did what they needed to do. Yeah. They're Nintendo fans are hyped. You know, they had their Zelda. Now you got your Mario looking just as good as Zelda. Um, you know, I think my gripe was just saying things instead of showing. Um, but at the end of the day, I, mean, I think. They, they, they showed, showed most enough. besides Metroid. They showed a lot more. Yeah. Besides yeah, Metroid, they showed a the lot. Thing, the only thing that they really didn't show was Metroid. Look at and like I, think, I think they should have saved that for the end. Yeah. I think they should have switched Agreed. spots between Mario and uh, Metroid. I kind of feel like PlayStation should have the same thing, though, with Metroid yeah. at the end. Yeah, they should have. You, you, you just can't help yourself. You just got to bring it back to PlayStation. <laughs> well, EA did the same thing. Anyways, what are you going to give it? I give it a green, yeah. Green. Yeah. I mean, they... Of course. Of course, these. they showed a lot of games. <laughs> we caught games that are coming out. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for our Nintendo E3 coverage for Pixelated Points. If you guys want to follow us on Twitter at pxlpts, you can do so. Uh, I'm also on Twitter at it's a me bt. Gary, you are G Heinz two five. God Mike back there, you are at Steven underscore Sal. Awesome. And if you guys want to see any of our E3 coverage for our other videos, Microsoft, Sony, Ubisoft, Bethesda, all that shit, go over to youtubecom slash points. You'll find all the videos there. Like, share, subscribe, do all that jazz. We love you.